to the States, where Prince Harry's name has been dragged into a $30 million lawsuit which accuses American music mogul Sean Coombs, best known as P. Diddy, of sexual abuse. Record producer Little Rod Jones claims that Diddy's affiliation to the Duke of Sussex and other stars gave him and his associates legitimacy. The rapper has been subject to several lawsuits in recent months, including one from ex-partner R&B singer Cassie Ventura. Last night, Diddy's mansions in Los Angeles and Miami were raided by federal agents as part of an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. Claims made against Coombs back in November stated that he drugged and sexually assaulted another alleged victim. Allegations his spokesperson called made up, not credible and purely a money grab. I mean, these are very serious allegations. There's no two ways about that. I always find it rather interesting, and maybe this is a kind of slightly side point. I don't know whether American law enforcement do this for any specific reason. Does it really take 300 armed and armoured people with tanks virtually and God knows how many police vehicles to raid a house. I mean, you could have turned up with six coppers in the back of a transit and probably achieved the same thing. I know these are big places, but they do seem to make a big display of this, and I don't know whether there's any specific police or legal reason why they do this, whether they think more people will come forward if they make it into something bigger. Well... You've got to have a lot of police. He's up to his neck in the allegations. He is. That much is. It's a civil case. It's not a criminal one yet. Yep. They have to have a lot of police because in a place such, so big as his sporting mansions, there could be evidence up in the in the top room and he's got guys up there flushing stuff away, ripping things up, destroying things. So I think you the police... Ambush. I think yeah. there's a bit you of roostering. You have to ambush him just in case... Um, I mean, he wasn't, even, he wasn't there at either of them. So. Well, yeah. Um, but the thing is, the, the link to Prince Harry is really quite flimsy. This is a man who met him in 2007. Yeah, once, if, yeah. if you're famous, you tend to kind of move in similar circles. I don't think... I mean, Prince Harry's name is just to sell a story. I don't think it has any real link. What I would say this, I, I, what I would say though, is I'm uncomfortable with this story. Just and, and most stories of this nature, where you have a very famous man who is facing a barrage of sexual assault allegations, and we don't know whether he's guilty or innocent, and we're just waiting for the law to play out. Again, there's the temptation to have a trial by social media, of course. which is undoubtedly what's going to happen. Now, I know that Peter D's always had rumors swirling about his conduct because he's, he moves with his rappers, and they're not known for treating women very well. Well, P. Diddy and Cassie, I only knew of Cassie because P. Diddy and Cassie were like Brangelino of the hip mm. of the hip hop world. She had one hit and then they broke up. And the case that she brought against him, which was a civil case, he settled quite quickly. Now you could argue that that's because he's guilty and he wants to make the story go away. Or you could say he doesn't want negative press attention because he's a family and those stories kind of- Or a protracted- or, or, Exactly. Um, so I, I mean, I, I really wish that we could it's, it's difficult because it's P. Diddy. You're always going to talk about a story linked to him. Mm. But I, I just wish that we didn't feel the need to prove our commitment to actually um, taking sexual assault allegations seriously um, by almost trying these people without actually a, a proper real trial. Speaking as a showbiz expert, I can tell you that in 99% of these cases, if there's the same rumours circulating around these big names, it's generally it's true. Yeah. We saw it with Harvey Weinstein. I, and speaking of Weinstein, I've seen Weinstein with... Um, with Prince William before having pro prolonged conversations at parties. Yeah. But no one suggests that Prince William is in any way connected to Weinstein in that way. Mm -hmm. It's ludicrous that they're saying this now about Harry. But there's no secret. Anyone who's in the music industry mm -hmm. will not see, hear this news and think, oh my goodness, P. Diddy? This is what he's been yeah, up to. This is shocking. He's an angel. He's this. an angel. But you've got to remember about American law enforcement is performative. Yeah. You know, first of all, it's performative from the point of view of the police and the FBI. If they arrest a white collar criminal or they arrest somebody who, for a non violent crime, they'll still handcuff them. It's about, you know, there is a big thing about kind of law enforcement in America, which is very different from what you get in the US. And you are uh, in the UK, and you're quite right as well. And you're right about Prince Harry. I mean, this is, again, performative mm. uh, legal battles played out in the press. You know, you see, even with the Trump case, the Attorney General is out there giving her views, saying we're going to get this guy. You'd never see that in the UK. And so they stick Prince Harry's name in the lawsuit. And look, we're discussing it on this show. It gets a lot of coverage. It's, it's vulgar. Because they've basically but said... Can't... You know, yeah. Prince Harry gives P. Diddy credibility. But, and, of course, it's about as tenuous as it could be. Of course, but can you ever... I mean, as JJ said, I mean, there's lots of cases, particularly in the music and the media industry, and in that world, you know, people go, well, there's a lot of rumours. They've been around forever. Mm. They're probably true. There's no way back from that, is there? I mean, if you, even if none of these go anywhere, even if they end up to be civil payoffs, which, as you were saying, can happen for a number of reasons. But it's a little you, bit you like... You can't yeah. claim it back and say, it's, I'm all in the clear now. You can't... Un new album. Yeah, mud stick, you can't untaint your reputation. Yeah. I, I mean, I had this awful moment a few, a few months ago when I said to someone, hang on a minute, was Cliff Richard guilty or not? 
I mean, he wasn't. He was completely cleared. But we all oh. remember when the helicopters sort of were swirling around his mansion. Yeah. That, is, that just proves to you that is so unfair. That was an instinct that we all had. Oh, yeah, that's not a surprise. Oh, oh, he's there. He was, he was cleared, oh. yeah. you know? So I think we do have to be careful.